CCNA2 version 7.0 the addressing table the IP subnetting has already been done the full gateway addresses should be the first usable address in the range descriptions should be used on all configured interfaces save your running configurations within each device addressing table the all the subnets configure the following specific values all unused ports shut down access mode VLAN 300 on the three switches feeling switch 1 2 and 3 let the first configure the basic configurations use a notepad the name okay host name space at the end password encryption service password dash encryption enter no dns attempts no i beat the main lookup banner message of the day banner message of the day on authorized access is prohibited any message and enable secret class enable secret class line console zero line console zero line bty line bty all lines from 0 to 15 and online console zero password cisco login synchronous sign out login password cisco login synchronous exact time out zero zero login to enable the password and the same configuration for the bty lines copy this and paste here you have all this configuration and uh, copy on the three switches Phoenix switch one enter enable configure terminal paste okay very good no errors no issues and the host name is Phoenix switch one very good Phoenix switch two Enter enable configure terminal paste hostname Phoenix switch to enter Phoenix switch three enter enable configure terminal paste okay very good um, Phoenix switch three case sensitive And now all unused ports assigned to VLAN 300, but before you need to create all VLANs on the three switches, create all VLANs. 80, 81, 82, 300, 500. Okay, on Notepad, VLAN 80, use any name, but I will use this name, uh, Phoenix Management. For VLAN ID, I will use the name of the subnet. I will use for VLAN Phoenix Management VLAN 81 name. I will use this name Phoenix LAN 81. Phoenix LAN 81 VLAN 82 name Phoenix LAN 82. Okay, Phoenix LAN. 
300. VLAN 300 is the black hole. VLAN okay. 300 name black hole. VLAN 500 enter name Five hundred is uh, native VLAN five hundred. So I will use the name native. Okay, and paste this on the three switches. Phoenix switch one, global configuration mode paste. Okay, exit. Phoenix switch two, paste. Exit. Phoenix switch three. Paste. Exit. Now configure BTP on transparent mode. Spanning tree, rapid per VLAN spanning tree, and STP for port fast default on three switches. So use the notepad again. BTP mode transparent. Uh, spanning tree mode rapid per line spanning tree mm, spanning tree port fast port fast default and configure this on the three switches Copy. Global configuration mode based. Very good. Phoenix switch two based. And Phoenix switch three based. Spanning three root. Priority twenty four thousand five hundred seventy six. Only on Phoenix switch one belongs. AD, AD1, and AD2. Okay, go to Phoenix Switch 1, Spanning Tree, VLAN, AD, AD1, AD2, and set the priority, this priority. Priority 24,576. Enter. All unused ports shut down, access mode VLAN 300. And Phoenix switch 1, interface range. Port is used are uh, fast Ethernet 1, 2, 3, and gigabit 0, 1. So 1, 2, 3 and use, 4 to 24, gigabit 0, 1 and use, and gigabit 0, 2. Switch port mode access, switch port access, VLAN 300, and shut down. Okay, uh, Phoenix switch 2, ports in use 8, gigabit 0, 01 and 0, 02. Interface range, 1 to 7, 8 in use, 9 to 24, and gigabit. 0, 01 and 0, 02 in use. Switch port mode access. Switch port access. VLAN 300. Shut down. Um, Phoenix switch 3. Port, ports in use 11, 12, 17 and gigabit 0, 01. Interface range. Fast okay, From 1 to 10. 11, 12 in use. From uh, fast Ethernet uh, 13 to 16, uh, 17 in use. From fast Ethernet 18 to 24, gigabit 01 in use, gigabit 02. Switch port mode access, switch port access. 
to your access. Milan 300 shutdown. Okay, ready, 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 ready. Great, bilans ready. On Felix switch one trunks, use the command switch for trunk encapsulation that one queue. Okay, because it's a layer three switch. Other channel trunk, first one and two. On Felix switch one, this link is for channel three. Uh, on Phoenix switch one, faster than one and two. Okay. Interface range, faster than one and two. Shut down. Okay. Uh, first configure switch port no trunk. Okay. First configure uh, switch port. Trunk encapsulation dot one q okay and then switch port mode trunk switch port switch port trunk deep vlan five hundred and the channel group channel group three mode desirable okay. It's indicated desirable. Enter. Port channel three was created. Um, port channel three will be suspended. Okay. Um, interface port dash channel three. Switch port trunk encapsulation dot one q. Switch port mode trunk. Switch port trunk at TV LAN 500 and ready. And facet internet 11 and 12 auto on Phoenix switch 3. We go to Phoenix switch, switch 3 interface range, facet internet 11 and 12. Switch port mode trunk. Uh, Shut down. Okay. Switch port mode trunk. Switch port trunk. TV LAN 500. And channel group 3. Mode auto as indicated. And interface port channel 3. Switch port mode trunk. Switch port trunk TV LAN 500. And go to the interface range 11 and 12 and no shut down. No shut down. And go to Phoenix switch one, facet, facet one and two. Okay, interface range, facet one and two. No shut down. Okay, very good. And trunks on using a TV LAN 500 gigabit zero one on Phoenix switch one interface gigabit zero one switch port trunk encapsulation that one Q switch port mode trunk switch port trunk on TV LAN 500 gigabit zero one on two on Phoenix switch two Phoenix switch two interface range gigabit zero one and two switch port mode trunk switch port trunk at the belong 500 okay both interfaces and, and Phoenix switch three Gigabit zero one on Phoenix switch three interface gigabit zero one switch port mode trunk switch port trunk at TV LAN five hundred okay port consistency restored very good 
and configure BPDUR maximum 25 MAC addresses violation protect aging time 5. Phoenix switch 2, fast Ethernet A, okay, fast Ethernet A, uh, Phoenix switch 2, the connection to PC, interface, fast Ethernet A, and VLAN 81. Switch port mode access. First, configure the VLAN assignment. Switch port access VLAN 81. 81. Enter. And then configure uh, BPD UART. Spanning tree BPD UART enabled. 25 MAC addresses, violation protect, aging time 5. Switch port, port security, port security maximum 25, violation protect. And aging time 5 minutes. And fast Ethernet 17 on Phoenix switch 3. Fast Ethernet 17 switch port mode access. VLAN 82 switch port access. VLAN 82 switch uh, spanning 3. BPDU ward enable switch port for the security for security maximum 25 relation protect aging time 5 Management VLAN and the default gateway. VLAN 80 use IP addresses from the Phoenix management. Okay, use the IP address from this uh, subnet. Phoenix management 172.16.80. Subnet mask 240 VLAN 80. Okay, go to Phoenix switch one. In, uh, exit global configuration mode interface VLAN 80. IP address. 172.16.80. AD. I will use the first IP because this will be the default gateway for the inter VLAN routing. 255.255.255.240. Set a description. Phoenix management, for example, and not shut down. Exit. No uh, do not configure. Uh, IP default gateway because this is is the default gateway. Phoenix switch to exit interface VLAN ID IP address 172.16.80. That I will use the second two divided by divided by divided to 40 description Phoenix management not shut down. Exit IP the power gateway 172.16.80.1 and Phoenix switch 3 exit interface belong 80 IP address 172.16.80.3.25.25.25.240 description Phoenix management no shutdown exit IP default gateway 172.16.80.1 and now configure the routers Phoenix switch one that is a layer three switch core router Dal Dallas router one and Dallas router two. 
Phoenix Switch 1, Layer 3 Device, Core Router, Dallas Router 1, Dallas Router 2. Basic configuration, hostname, password encryption, no DNS attempts, banner message of the day, enable secret password class. Okay, is this configuration? Copy and paste at the end. Okay, hostname, service password encryption, no DNS lookup banner, enable secret class, password, uh, line console, and line BTY, line console, line BTY. Password Cisco login synchronous timeout zero login. Password Cisco login synchronous timeout zero login. Password Cisco login synchronous timeout zero login. Okay, it's the same configuration as the switches. Then copy all this. Uh, Phoenix switch one already configured on core, core router. Enter, enable, configure terminal, paste, and set the host name, core router, core dash router, Dallas router one, enter, enable, configure terminal, paste, dal rtr dash one. And this is another Dallas router too. Enter, enable, configure, terminal, paste. Dal dash router two. Enter. IP routing on Phoenix Switch One. Click here. Global configuration mode IP routing. Login block two minutes if two failed attempts within 30 seconds. Okay, on all the devices, login block, uh, login block for. Two minutes, uh, 120 seconds uh, within uh, attempts, attempts, uh, two failed attempts, two and uh, 30 seconds within 30 seconds. Okay, enter. For all the for all layer three devices, Phoenix switch one, paste. Very good. Core, paste. Dallas router one, paste. Router two, paste. Loopback interface, loopback tank on Phoenix switch one. Interface, loopback tank. Description. So description. Uh, look back. IP address. Okay, here is indicated. Seventy two sixteen eighty three one subnet mask twenty four. Okay, exit. IP addresses and subnet masks. On all interfaces as appropriate, Infinite Switch 1 include switch virtual interfaces and make sure FastEthernet 3 is a router port. Okay, on Phoenix Switch 1, create the switch virtual interfaces for VLAN 81 and for VLAN 82. Interface VLAN 81, description. This 81 is uh, Phoenix LAN 81. For example, I will use any description, but I will use this Phoenix LAN 81 IP address. I will use the first on this uh, subnet 172.16.81. 172.16.81. 
use the hertz and 285, 285, 285 is here. Okay, this net mask, enter, no shutdown, enter HVLAN 82. Okay, description, Phoenix VLAN, Phoenix LAN 82. IP address 172.16.82. The first is one, so mask 24. Not shut down. Okay, this. Uh, AD already configured previously, already configured. And make sure Fast Ethernet 3 is a router port. Okay, Fast Ethernet 3. Interface for set number three, no switch port, router port, description, description is the connection to core RTR and IP address. Use this, uh, core will be one, so for set number three will be two. 172, 16, 84, 2, 285, 285, 285. 252 because the subnet mask is 30. Prefix 30 is 252. Enter. No shutdown. Hex. Now on core, configure interfaces on core. Fast Ethernet 00. Description. Connection, connection to Phoenix switch on. Okay, sorry, Phoenix IP address 172.16.84. 1, 285, 285, 285, 282. Not shut down. Very good. Serial 000. zero, zero. Serial 000. Zero, zero. Description connection to Dal Dallas Router 1. IP address 182168 10. from core to Dallas. Use any in the range. You have two, one and two. Core will have the first one and to mass 282. No, shut down. CL001. Description, connection to Dallas router two. Uh, 192.168.10.8 The first will be 9 for core. 192.168.10.8 is the subnet 9, the first 252. No shutdown. And for satellite zero one 1, review if it's configured, exit. Exit, show running config. Fast Ethernet 01, no IP address. Okay, core to internet. Core to internet. Okay, the subnet is 209.165.200.100. But internet is 102, 102. Subnet is 100, so. Fast Ethernet 01 will be 1 of 1. Okay, Fast Ethernet will be 1 of 1. Of your terminal interface, Fast Ethernet 01. And description connection to Internet IP address. 209165 200 101 
and now configure interface on Dallas router one serial zero 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 interface serial zero 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 description connection to core router IP address one eighty two one sixty eight ten the core is one so this will be two fifty five fifty five fifty five fifty two no shutdown serial zero zero one description connection to um, dal rtr2 okay dal rtr2 and ip address 192.168.50.32 okay 5032 i will use the first 50 and the first will be 33 and 252 no shutdown and fast alternate zero zero fast alternate zero zero description the connection to dallas wi-fi router and this is the uh, dallas wi-fi lang uh, no is uh, Dallas router one to Dallas Wi Fi router 192168 10 4 252 192168 10 4. So the first is 5 uh, 252. Not shut down. Okay, 4 is the subnet, 5 the first, 6 the second, and 252 subnet mask. And that last router two serial zero 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 interface serial zero 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 description connection to core RTR IP address one eighty one sixty eight ten eight is the subnet nine the first ten the second. I will use 10, 255, 255, 255, 252, no shutdown. Okay, and now serial 001. Okay. Interface serial 001. Connection to Dallas router 1. IP address. 50, 32 is the subnet, 33, the first, I will use 34, the second. Enter, no shutdown. Okay. Okay, 32, subnet, 33, the first, 34, the second. And fast Ethernet 00. Interface fast Ethernet 00. Description. Okay, is the Dallas LAN. Dallas LAN 50. Dallas LAN 50. Use any description. And the IP address is 182.168.50.0. One I two one sixty eight fifty zero is the subnet. One is the first IP and two twenty four the subnet mask. Okay, subnet mask two twenty four. But here uh, uses DHCP for the DHCP server and not shut down. The four routes Phoenix switch one to core router use exit interface. Go to Phoenix switch one. The default route, IP route, IP route. Exit interface, faster than a three to core router. 
Okay, very good. Core router to ISP use NATS hub IP. Okay, core router to ISP fast Ethernet 01. Exit IP route. Um, the NATS hub IP address 209.165.200.102. 209.165.200.102. Two hundred nine one sixty five two hundred one oh two. Two nine one sixty five two hundred one oh two. Okay, because it's the Nets Hub IP. Nets Hub IP. Dallas router one. To call router exit interface. The exit interface to call router is serial zero zero zero. Exit IP route. Serial zero zero zero. And on Dallas router to to core router exit interface. Dallas router to serial zero exit interface. Exit IP route. Exit interface serial zero zero zero. Very good. And route to Phoenix. Use the exit interface on core router. So go to core router IP route. Use this 172.16.80.0. 172.16.80.0. Prefix 22. 255.255. Prefix 22 is uh, 52.0. Okay. And use the exit interface to Phoenix. Okay, this is Phoenix. Use the exit interface. My exit interface on core router is fast Ethernet 00. zero. On core router also route to Dallas Wi-Fi 10.0 IP route 192 IP route 192.168.10.10.0 10, 0, 24 is 255, 255, 0. And the exit interface to Dallas Wi Fi is serial 00, 0 to Dallas Wi Fi. Serial 0, 0, 0. Enter. And also, Route to Dallas Wi Fi on Dallas Router 2. Use the exit interface. Okay. Go to Dallas Router 2 here. IP route 182 192.168.10.0, 192.168.10.0, 24.255.255.255.0. And the exit interface is serial 001. Zero, zero, one. Zero, zero, one. Okay, enter. And uh, to Dallas LAN 50 on core router using exit interface 192.168.50.025. Go to core router IP route 182168 50 25. 25 is uh, 128 at the end. And the exit interface to Dallas LAN is serial 001 on core router. Serial 001. Enter. Okay. 50025, 50025, exit interface, serial 001, enter. 
and also on Dallas Router 1, Dallas Router 1, IP root, 192.168.50.0.25 use the exit interface on Dallas Router 1 Dallas Router 1 and Dallas Router 1 the exit interface serial 001 to reach Dallas LAN 50 Dallas LAN 50 serial 001 zero, zero, 001 And SSH on Dallas Router 2, any username and domain, Dallas Router 2, okay, and IP, domain, name, uh, for example, uh, Dallas.com, username, uh, admin, uh, Okay, no specifications for the username, username, admin, and password, Cisco, or secret password, Cisco. And don't worry about this. And create the crypto key, crypto, Key generate RSA general keys modulus 1024. Very good. And on line BTY to zero from zero to 15, transport input SSH and login local to use the local user. Exit. Dallas Wi-Fi router, configure static IP for the internet connection. Okay, you will have on this router, Wi-Fi router, this wireless router, the internet setup, static IP, 181.68.10.4, router, Dallas router 1 is 5, this will be 6. 182.168.10.6. The full gateway, Dallas Router 182.168.10.5. DNS, here is the DNS 8888. 8888. Okay. Save. Save settings. SSID. Okay, go to wireless, basic wireless. This is BAN Wi Fi. SSID BAN Wi Fi. Case sensitive. Okay, and save. And wireless security WPA2 personal, WPA2 personal. Cisco class case sensitive, the password. Cisco dash class case sensitive. Okay, save settings. User DHCP network 10 10 10 10 0 25. Okay, go to setup. Okay, here um, network setup. 10, 10, 10, 0, so use the first will be 1 and subnet mask prefix 25 that ends with 128, okay, 25, 25 addresses issued, okay, I got, uh, here 25, maximum number of users 25, starting at 10, 10, 10, 50, starting at 50. Okay, save settings, then verify. 10, 10, 10, 1, 128, 10, 10, 10, 50, and 25. Okay, Dallas Router to the HCP, 
excluded one to five. Okay, Dallas router two. Uh, IP DHCP excluded dash address. Exclude from one to five. With the range is uh, 192.168.50. 192.168.50. And exclude, exclude from 1 to 5. 1 to 192.168.50. 5. Enter. The pool is down long 50. Okay, sensitive. IP, DHCP, pool, dal LAN 50. Okay, enter. Only needs network, DNS, and the default gateway. Network 192.168.50.0. And what is the subnet mask for LAN 50 is 224. 2 divided 5 divided 5 to 24. The far old dash uh, router. The first one eighty one sixty eight fifty that one and DNS server DNS server is eight 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 DNS uh, dash server eight 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 enter very good exit okay then. You can fill the table, but uh, go to Dallas Wi-Fi PC, verify DHCP, static DHCP. Okay, this is the new IP 10.10.10.50, 10, 10, 10, 28, 10.10.10.1, 10, 10, 10, and 8.8.8.8. 8, 8. Dallas LAN 50 PC. Okay. Use this IP 192.168.56.224.51.8888. Very good. Phoenix LAN 81 PC. Already configured. Okay, very good. And 93% check results. Okay, connectivity test. So make the connectivity test. Phoenix LAN 81. Okay, now it's 95%. Check results. Okay, very good. Okay, on SSH server version and startup config. And this is on Dallas Router 2. Close this. On Dallas Router 2. IP SSH version 2 and, and copy running dash config to startup dash config. Enter, enter, enter. Very good, 97%. And uh, DNS server IP. Is incorrect on Dallas Wi Fi router. Okay, fix the Dallas Wi Fi router on the DNS server IP, it should be different. And SSID broadcast enabled on the same Dallas router Wi Fi. Okay, go to Dallas router Wi Fi. Here said I forgot the, D, uh, the DNS for the internet interface configured, but set the DNS on the LAN on the LAN interface eight 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 eight. Save settings, and then on wireless enable SSID broadcast the SSID S band Wi-Fi with enable broadcast. Save settings. The Dallas Wi Fi router start IP address subnet mask. Okay. Dallas Wi Fi router. 
start IP address uh, should be 50. Okay, should be uh, 50. The subnet mask should be 25 that ends with 128. Okay. okay. 10, 10, 10, 1, 128, enable 50, 25, 8, 8, 8, 8. Save settings. Okay, 98%. On Phoenix Switch 1, Gigabit 01 description. Uh, Phoenix Switch 2, Startup Config. Phoenix Switch 1, Interface Gigabit 01, the description, the connection to Phoenix. Switch to and go to Phoenix Switch to and uh, and copy running config to start up config enter 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 and now 100% test the ping from this PC Phoenix LAN 81 ping Phoenix LAN 82 IP address is 82.5.172.16.82.5. Success. Ping to Dallas LAN 50 PC. 182.168.56. Ping 182.168.56. Success. And ping to Internet. Ping uh, DNS server. Success, ping to cisco.com. Success, very good. Thank you very much, 100%.